guys, bad guys, what a bunch of turds. We change up the song cause we can't use the words bad guys. Story truly back in the saddle. We're looking at Beavis. I'm talking about Beavis and Butthead. Thank you, Comedy Central, for finally doing what you promised. Yeah, even though it's kind of funny looking at it now, I've been like, and yeah, let me just, before we get into the thing, let me just talk about what's going on so far. So, they showed the first eight episodes uh, two years ago. And then they stopped before we actually, everyone was like, why did you choose to stop at this point? Because they were about to show that Beavis got a freaking admirer and they stopped on that episode. I'm like, that's the worst episode to stop on before you, they didn't show that episode. And it's like, you dumb idiot. So apparently instead of being like, we start where we stop, they just kept the ball rolling. They showed all of season one and non-descriptive ways you know and then here we are season two so they're premiering season two and even premiered the movie but anyways we're on this season two episode six or in this case it's like it's like do i even really need to try to do this anymore it's like i'm not gonna try to do this anymore i don't care so we got the first part which is sad boys <laughs> what they're gonna do when they come for you so Basically, those two actually were just kicking lockers, and then all of a sudden, we see Tristan sad over there. Yeah, because Tristan don't have Joey Wheeler, man. Joey Wheeler is not in this world, so because of that, we got sad Tristan over there. And Tristan was able to get hugged by a girl, and Bees and Butthead took it as, oh man, it's a grope session. But it's like, no, nah, she's just comforting him, which is a constellation prize for everyone, I bet, right? It's like everyone would be glad to get hugged by a girl. Unless you're a girl. But if you're into that, good for you. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, it's like this is a consolation prize. So what Beavs and Butthead decide to do is we're going to be sad too. And then the girls will come to us and love us. And then they'll like us. And then we'll get down, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I've been down that road by accident. Let me tell you, it is not a good road to be a part of. Not, I wasn't trying to get some, you know what I'm saying? I was actually just being normal. And then I had to go and take a test that was 567 questions on it. I don't recommend it at all. <laughs> but here they are, and then they tried to go to the class, and Mr. Dreesen was like, Man, y'all guys are suffering from depression. It's like, yeah, we're going to get you the help you need. And it's like, yeah, you guys toned it down too much. You you cranked it up too much. You need to slow your roll just a little bit. Probably just do it with girls seeing you do it, not principals and teachers, which still to this day, we don't know what happened to Principal Vicar or the, the gym teacher. We're still missing those two guys. Which I'm pretty sure at these days, they would most likely get canceled thanks to idiots. <laughs> but anyways, they're at the guidance counselor, and the guidance counselor is asking, okay, so how long did you think everything sucks? And it's like, that reminds me of Houdini. <laughs> I wonder what my old me say. He's what? If he was here today, he might just say that everything is good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah that reminds me too anyways i'm gonna keep going and we'll see how this goes like i remember it but i don't remember it and i might have this already recorded so if you get another video with this same one it's because i found the oldest i found the older version it's like well why the f not because youtube doesn't give a crap anymore about me doing duplicates Okay, hold on. I should have let it play, but I didn't. It's like, yeah, uh, hold on. Let me just make sure so I could just get back to it if I can. Oh, well, frick it. You know, one second. Let me just fast forward it right quick. But oh my gosh, it's like, yeah, so I guess they don't care what age a woman is, which I'm like, you kind of should care. So this is the reason why they were doing all that stuff. <coughs> Tell her that, oh yeah, we were crying all night long, and what about self-harm? It's like, yeah, I self-harm, I self-harm in the shed. It's like, 
<laughs> yeah, I gotta pull my pants up. It's like, oh my gosh. It's amazing how sometimes people just miss it. And it's like, lotion, pants down, dude. <laughs> yeah, but she's like, you guys need more help than I can give. And now she's gonna send them to the uh, clinic, I guess you can say. It's like, yeah, it's like, oh my goodness. Yeah, they're asking for two months. It's like, yeah, again, they cranked it up to the point where, oh my goodness. Uh oh. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, you guys need to crank it down. But, well, you know how it is. It's going to get into something like, it's going to be something out of proportion. But, well, good news is that it's not going to end like so many other ones in season one where, dude, they killed themselves. Dude, they straight up killed themselves. And we're back. Thank you, phone, for being a dumb idiot. <laughs> so, anyways, what basically happened is that they went to the psych psychiatric center. And in the psychiatric center, they got to see the electrostimulation machine. I know, it's called something else. But anyways, yeah, shock therapy. And so, it's where the stream cases, and those two are like, stimulation? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, oh, shoot. <laughs> when I first was watching it, I didn't really think something was gonna happen but lo and behold <laughs> they went into the they went into the group after they went to the group they actually had to touch hands hold hands and stuff and it's like wow it's like every look it's like what there's five girls two dudes plus bees and a butthead it's not that bad it's like it's not bad bad numbers and they were really dedicated on scoring to the point where it's like yeah this is you're not gonna score in this one, man. You just went into a dead end on this one. It's like, yeah, it's like, thank goodness I didn't have to do this crap. It's like, oh my gosh. It's like, nope. Instead, I had to do a freaking test that was 567 questions. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. Yeah, that took like at least four hours. So, yay. And then I came back and I, it was raining and stuff and I just ran and actually felt freedom and then I slipped and oh my gosh, my pants is all muddy. Son of a bitch. It's like, yeah, it's like, this day sucks. So they decided to skip out of here and score with the machine. Fake scoring. So they go to the electro machine. <laughs> electro stimulation machine. And well, first, butthead went first, and and wow, it's like, it does something to all electricity around the freaking damn city, it's like, holy freak, it's like, don't forget what happened in the Simpsons all those decades ago, oh yeah, <laughs> and after butthead took one, then, and he got it, like, sneak attack, he's like, I'm gonna do it on three, one, that's for Beavis. Beavis, which I'm like, dude, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Those touched his nads, man. Wipe them on your damn jacket before putting it on yours. <laughs> and he didn't do it, and he went for it, and dang. My only other question, my only question is this. I got a question. Did, dang, 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 dang. did those guys ever do that? I think they might have. It could have just been a cattle prod, but I don't think they ever actually did it with an electric machine. The electronic stimulation machine. I don't think they never did it with that. And sadly, since they're old, I don't think they'll ever do it. <laughs> we need a new generation. The new generation could actually do that. But I don't even think they're going to even have a new generation. It sucks, really. But after all that, <laughs> the, two, the doctor and the um, nurse was like, are you guys okay? It's like, yeah, we're we're not, uh, we're not that sad anymore. We just need to rest. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, man, that's not even scoring. That's like the opposite of scoring. That's like opposite. It's like, yeah, it's like that's not gonna give you pleasure unless you love the pain, man. And like, yeah, there's some people like that out there in the world. All right, let's see. The segment is not a music video. It is help. I'm in a secret relationship. Be right back. Okay. I don't remember this one, but <clears throat> since I don't watch the show anyways. <clears throat> First, I was like, man, I wish the 2011 one. I miss when they were actually talking about, um, what was it? Jersey Shore. 
yeah, this was like, oh, good Lord. <laughs> he just kept on going, oh, good Lord. It's like, yeah, so apparently Carlos over here has a secret. And it's not even I'm going to help out in a secret relationship. It's more like I have a damn secret in a relationship. What's the secret? The secret is that he's basically a sex toy salesman. That's it. You're just a sex toy reseller or heck, you're a spokesperson for him. Either way, apparently everyone, your his friends, his parents know, but his girlfriend doesn't. And it's like, it sounds like to me, he wants you to stay freaking damn um, innocent. It's either stay innocent or he doesn't know how to break it to you. But someday he will. And lo and behold, you broke it, made him break it to you on TV. At least the good news is that he's cool with it, but still, it's kind of messed the freak up, though. It's kind of messed the freak up. Really is, not thank goodness he doesn't have, like, any employer. It's like, yeah, it's like, this is just a side job. My real job is this. And it's like, and they saw it, and I'm fired. <laughs> it's like, yes, yeah, like, when it comes to people who actually does it on TV, which is like, the ones who are catfish, yeah, fuck you. But the ones that actually are, like, you guys are good. But you'd never met their parents before. You never met their friends before. And you're gonna put them on TV, and lo and behold, they expose the horrible secret that you know they working. <coughs> they don't work by them. They don't work by themselves. They are not entrepreneurs. They have freaking damn bosses and shit. And it's like, and they're on live television, and they have to tell everything that actually is a secret. And it's like motherfucker. It's like yeah. It's like. Oh, good. I still get to have my girlfriend, but I now have to look for a new damn job and hope it actually can be good because guess what? They Everyone saw the damn secret. Everyone saw the damn secret. It's like, yeah, the secret might be messed the freak up. Secret could be actually all normal, but <clears throat> let's take Marco. If he's actually doing a side job of doing sex toys, uh, it's messed the freak up, just like freaking out OnlyFans. He's like, what's the matter with OnlyFans? It's like, oh, do you want teachers to actually be on OnlyFans? Doing the messed up naughty stuff versus, you know, you can't be on OnlyFans doing things like art and sculptures and music and acting and stuff. You can do that shit. <clears throat> but sadly, main portion of it is freaking people using it for sex. Sexual stuff. So I was like, yeah, it's really messed to freak up, don't you think? It's really messed to freak up. That it's like, yeah, it's like, girl. <laughs> Heck, sadly, it could even be boy. It's like, you gotta be freaking damn mindful of what the fuck you're doing, putting them on TV. Because you can get them freaking damn fired. Then what? Then what? It's not about the money. It's like, it's not about the money, but damn, what the fuck? I think he actually does get paid by his mom, and yeah, his mom actually helps him with the rent and stuff, so it's like, okay, and he's like, yeah, I think you need to actually get to the point of, you know, you might need to get a suitable job that will help you out, but anyways, the next one is, are you there, God? It's me, Beavis. Okay, yeah, it's kind of funny. He's doing a prayer. <laughs> yep, and the prayer is like, yeah, God, I know you're busy destroying Terminators and King and Jesus' ass. And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> so I'm going to definitely blast from this. So this is just, of course, you know, playing on Are You There, God Is Me, Margaret, which even um, Deadpool did that, which, yeah, I think, sadly, Deadpool still actually was first before beavis and butthead sadly so what happened is very very simple <laughs> it's kind of funny at the same time mr dreeson is talking about puberty fuck you <laughs> yeah just fuck you puberty you damn bastard but <laughs> at the same time they're outside playing and they found a skunk which i don't know i don't think they know what a skunk is so the skunk actually came and just well they actually it was like the skunk approached Beavis a little bit and then he bit him. And it's like, oh, fuck, man. He got the wabies. He got the damn wabies. And I'm like, man, don't you remember 2011? That was the first episode, right? That's like 1B. 
yeah, where they were trying to become a werewolf, and then they went to the freaking, <laughs> went to the freaking um, homeless man in the back, I'm gonna die with me, damn, yeah, and he gave him some money, and he started biting him all over, and then they get home, and they're sick as a dog, <laughs> no pun intended, and of course, well, the homeless man got arrested because it's like oh you're buying people again aren't you like no they gave me money i did good job <laughs> it's like go oh, damn <laughs> uh, maybe someday i should actually make sure that the 2011 versions are never dead yeah that'll be cool don't you think i could actually do a reaction on them like actually with the footage and stuff but it would suck because yeah, it would kind of suck, but not truly suck, and who knows what, it's, it's Paramount, it's like, oh shit, it's like, it's Paramount, it's like, oh shit, that's why you don't see videos, you don't see clips on here, because Paramount, Paramount, as for the other ones who did it, oh, it's because they shook hands with Paramount, and gave Paramount money, because they get money, I don't, <laughs> so, anyways, yep, so, as you can figure, most likely, Beavis has rabies, and we get to have a nice freaking music video when we remix Toink featuring TK Dolla Sign and Trey Songs. I remember Trey Songs. I need to crack a bottle because <laughs> his bottom's up. It's like, oh yeah, I remember this song. This song sucks. <laughs> <laughs> they just look at her stuff. T T and T Auto Shop. It's like y'all guys, what you doing, man? Just caught triple T already, damn. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny that apparently Beavis scored with a car once. A nineteen ninety two Ford Festiva. Apparently he did actually looked at it. He popped open the hood and looked at it. It's like, wow. Well, it's like, you think he could actually be handy enough to actually fix a car? <laughs> I don't I have no idea. I mean, it's still a funny joke that, you know, if you worked there, Beavis, you most likely would fix the girl and screw over the car. And I'm like, dude, I don't think he know how to repair a car. I mean, they could teach him, I guess. And could he actually learn? I don't know. But it's like, yeah, on the other hand, though, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they both would just get screwed. It's like, I don't know where we can you fix a girl up. You have to be a damn doctor. There's no way how you can fix her up. And besides, she didn't come with any issues either way. <laughs> so, all right, let's just keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah, so I think we already saw this before, but just to make sure we got a note. Yep, the gym teacher is not the gym teacher of last time, yeah. It's like, yeah, the gym teacher's gone. It's like, yeah, it's understandable. Team Jesus is gone. As soon as Beavis and Butthead left, he was able to have a nice time, and then he actually retired, and we're good to go. But still, I want to know where the hell is he. And don't you dare say he dead, because I'll be a little bit pissed. I'm pretty sure it's like, hopefully that one episode... Well, never mind, that was the episode that they're both old, so damn. But I would hope that he is in a nursing home. It's like, I would like them both to be in a nursing home. So as soon as, as, soon as Beavis shows up, uh-oh, okay, good, good. As soon as Beavis, show, Beavis and Butthead shows up and they walk through the window, they're like, oh, God, no, oh, no. It's like, yep, yep. It's like, yeah, Principal Vigor will be like all freaking out and everything. It's like give me that at least but apparently no now as for beavis what's going on right now beavis actually is now revealed that dude he got the wabies he's foaming the mouth he kind of want to bite people and when it's like let him you know butthead take him to the school nurse he's like no and it's like dude you gotta live with this guy you might as well just do it <laughs> it's like you might as well freaking do it uh, but yeah, he's having some issues and I'm shocked that when he's praying that he's actually still normal. <laughs> oh my God, it's going good because I don't remember. It's been so long since I watched this episode. So it ends with him. <laughs> okay, okay, so it ends with him. It turns out that, yeah, we were seeing him just face we just seen the back of his head it turns out yeah he's still sick and all this time he was asking god to enlarge his endowment it's like that, that's all you're doing you know you're not asking for a damn cure 
and then all of a sudden he has a fever induced hallucination it's in quotations god and he was trying to tell that hey dude you got rabies you need to go to a doctor you need to go get it treated you got were rabies and he's like yeah but what about my what about my freaking package and he's like oh your package is perfect the way it is and he's like yeah you got a good point so <laughs> beef is walking out he walked out the house and then he got the freaking tail neighbor <laughs> the, the usual neighbor um tom anderson yeah he's just like watering the freaking tail he was rubbing his freaking tail garden and then he was just across the street and attacked him oh my god hey wait wait, wait. i didn't even notice it's like holy frick did you it's like hold on that had to be fixed that had to be changed because he was just next door versus i think they have to walk to his house it's like there's no way that he's freaking him next door right there's no freaking way but it's like other hand it's like i think in this this new version he's next door versus i think they have to walk a decent amount away because you know if they were actually next door all this damn time then how in the world was he able not to figure out that these two are the jerk asses who's screwing him over all the time instead of um Bernardo and the other dude <laughs> but anyways yeah so always good like usual there's really nothing extra to expand it's like where are these damn people where are the old people I want to see the old cast I want to see them back the only one is Mr. Dreesen and even then I'm like the dude's dying his hair there's no way the dude is not freaky damn gray yet. It's been freaky damn four decades, I believe. No, three decades. There's no fucking way. He still has no gray hair. There's no fucking way. You have to have gray hair by now, dude. He's freaky damn dying his hair. The natural way, dying his hair. Because there's no freaking way he doesn't have gray hair. There's still no fucking way. Anyways, if you like this, make sure you comment and subscribe and such like that. And I'll try to keep on making more until I reach the end of the ice cream tub. And then, oh crap, gotta wait for season three. Which, hopefully for season three, we get to have at the same time on Paramount+. Plus, Or, if not, maybe like a month later. I'm not picky, but remember the promise. You guys fucked over the promise before, and then you gave it to the UK. And it's like, oh, you give it to the United Kingdom, those England bastards. But when it comes to us, they'll go fuck ourselves. And it's like, dude, it came from here. How in the world are you giving it to other people in other countries, but the one where it originated? Hell no. That doesn't make freaking damn sense, does it? It doesn't make freaking damn ass sense. What the fuck? Frick you, Comedy Central, and definitely frick you, Paramount. We'll see you guys next time. You know what I'm saying? I said